Happy to you, February 7, 2022. So I'm jumping on it as a live video and let me make sure it's live before I continue discussing what I'm gonna to post today. All right, you are now live. Okay, so uh, I wanna discuss books today, guitar books. And uh, guitar books are interesting because you can have way too many. Um, and uh, I'm a little guilty of that myself. Uh, back when I was learning how to play, I was always looking out for books to learn out of, um, <clears throat> whether they were like, um, song collections from like an album, like say if I want to learn a Black Sabbath record, I would try to find a book that had all of like, you know, volume four or all of the first album or all of Sabotage, whatever. So there's a lot of different books you can get. And I decided um, after a certain period of time, it was overwhelming. So I had so many books uh, and that was, com you know, sort of accompanied by taking guitar lessons. So. You have to be careful with books because uh, you can get way too many and then you have a nice collection, a nice library. It looks impressive, but it could be overwhelming in terms of the amount of information. So be careful. <laughs> um, but having said that, um, I'm going to show you some of the books that I picked up over the years. This one here, Fusion Fundamentals. Uh, this is by Mel Booker. You can see the, you know, the author's name on the bottom and what it's about. So it's like a jazz fusion type of book. It's got some rock stuff in it. I'm going to give you just a little smattering of what the book contains. I'm not going to show <clears throat> pages of what's um, in the book, but this is a little compilation of what's in the book. So you can see everything in there. You know, 12-bar blues, you have pentatonic scales, jazz blues, etc. modal type things, different types of scale types on the bottom here, whole tone, minor, all the progressions that go with it, harmonic minor, diminished half whole scale. So all this crazy sounding stuff, but really good book, very basic um, in terms of approach. Um, so they start you out with little things like this. You know, the, the pick a key in this case, in this case, E flat major. So you have all the chords with all the Roman numerals, major and minor chords in there. So really good stuff. Um, and I'll give you one snapshot of a chord chart that's in here. Okay, so here are your chord forms, all nice and big, nice so 12 fret display almost, and a little chart on the bottom so you can learn the chords that are on top. You know, you can do eat the ninth chords or the seventh chords, either way you want to go with it. So that's one book, and it's I think it's still available. You can find Mel Booker. I think he's on. Uh, he might be on Facebook. I looked into it a while ago. I think he's still there. So I think he offers the book as an ebook. I think. Um, I always like to get hard copies of books if they're available, just because, you know, it, you don't run the risk of hitting a pirated copy. You know, someone takes the book and pirates it, you know, and then they offer it online as an ebook. So, um, so be careful of that. It's good to support authors of books and materials so you don't run the risk of, you know, buying something or downloading something that's not legit. So um, I always opt for the hard copy of everything. So, and okay. this book here is another one I got many, many years ago. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, you know, it's probably some of the older players have seen this book. There's actually two in the collection. And uh, <clears throat> once I went back to it, after many years, I was trying to figure out what was going on with, with the book. Um, now, this one may not be available anymore, I don't know, um, but it's got all kinds of drawings in it and, you know, things like this. So it's very, very artsy, you know, hand-drawn diagrams and all this cool stuff. Let me try to find table of contents. Here you go. So he goes through equipment. I'm oh, sorry. He goes through equipment, you know, uh, and all the different basics of music and all this stuff. So pretty cool. 12 different chapters in this book. And is there drawings in here? I think I drew in this a couple times. I don't even know. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit of memory lane going through some of this stuff. Uh, try to find maybe a page I can just show just out of um, out of the blue here. Uh, I got this. I think I got this book in like '85 or something. I don't know how long ago I got this book, but you can see on the inside, you know, all this different you know hand drawn stuff. So that's that. And then there's a second one he put out called the Heavy Guitar Bible Volume 2. And I'm not sure. I haven't checked out Richard Daniels as of late. I mean, I don't know what's what's happening, if he's still around or what the story is. But I found a couple of boo-boos in the book. So um, it was a very, very casual kind of book. So that's great. And I have other books, too, that are not guitar-related but music-related. But I'll continue with the guitar books. 
And of course, this little puppy right here, Mel Bay's guitar book here, which all has all the chords, you know, encyclopedia of all the chords. And what's nice about the book is, like, say if I go to this page here, this is just a, again, at random, A diminished. They show you what the notes look like. They, they show you which parts of the, if I can kind of get this in better, if I can focus it more. There we go. So you can see all the different tones that are in the chord. And the thing I like about this book is underneath each chord diagram, if I can get my finger up to it, all the letters of the chord are displayed, you know, which is pretty nice. And of course, on the, the side of the diagram is the fret location for all the chords, you know, which is really cool. So that's very handy. I always like to see the spelling of the chord. So if I know what kind of voicing the chord has and I know what the letters are on the fretboard, I can revoice the chord any way I want, which is kind of what they do here. They give you, oh, they give you different categories like melody chords, if you're playing chord melodies, inside chords, leaving out both, you know, high E strings, you're playing the inner four strings, rhythm chords, you know, bottom four string chords. So it's kind of nice. You get different voicings. You get to explore different in uh, instruments. <laughs> different string collections, I was going to say. So that's really cool. And so, takes care of that one. And this one, um, I have volume three and volume two of this one. Um, and I have, I had the first volume, but my sister has it, I think. She was learning how to play. So I gave her volume one of this three volume series. In fact, this book is still available. You can actually get it with all three volumes. So you can see on the inside, you know, no tablature, number one, so you have to know the notes on your neck, which is, of course, very valuable. So you can see what this particular chapter is going for. Melodization of dominant seventh chords as four seven or flat seven. So that's pretty cool. Everything's voiced out. Really nice. I haven't gotten to this myself yet, but um, really cool. So there's three in the series. So you can see where they start you out with, um, you know, coming off of volume two they start you out with that so it's pretty nice so they give you some fingerings fingering patterns but again no tablature so it really forces you to learn the neck which is not a bad thing and this guy here's another one this one i think is still available um i think i have two copies of this one so pretty nice oh the arnie burl is the author for this book and i'm pretty sure it's still available you can get this so Pretty cool stuff. Lots of different chord progressions. I'm going to pick out one chapter here. So three-part open voice chords, right? So that's pretty nice. So there's some string skipping involved, you know, with some of these. And again, on the bottom of the diagram, they don't give you the letters, but they give you parts of where the chords are, if I can turn this a little more. There we go. So with that G major 7, you have the root as the bottom, which is a G at this particular. So this chord here, G major 7, you know, that note, if I can pull it over, sorry. That note right back here is the root, and then you can see this third, seven and third after that, so that's very handy. So with that chord, you got the G with the first finger, you got the F sharp with the ring finger, and the pinky plays the B, so you're leaving out D, which with seven chords you can do that. So that's that one. Really nice, really cool book. And last but not least is this guy. This one I have two copies of. So I just decided to take one down off the shelf. So you can see that one, Ralph Denyer. You know, it's a forward by Andy Summers from The Police. And this is really old. I mean, <laughs> oh, this is kind of a cool, uh, cool page here. Alternative tunings, right? So if you're playing either acoustic or electric, you can tune your guitar differently at a standard and they explain all the different tunings. If I can turn this a little more, open G tuning it says there, I think. There we go. Open G tuning, which is slack tuning. Open D tuning, which is open D chord. So that's kind of cool. And they show you, you know, how to tune, you know, which is really nice. And then underneath all that, they give you some chord voicings right off the bat. So you can actually play chord voicings right away, which is very nice. So, so if you look for something a little different in terms of your guitar playing and you've done, you know, <clears throat> standard tuning and you feel like you're in a rut, you know, alternative, alternative tunings are definitely a great way to go. And I got other books too. I mean, that's just a small smattering of what I have in my collection. So I always pull something out of there if I'm preparing something for a student and I want to kind of give them some supplemental material. I'll give them something like that out of books like those. 
and that's something that's really good kind of bust the rut a little bit and this one i got this one when i was in school when i was in college back in the days of suffolk community college i talked about this on my uh my musical journey posts so this is one of the books that i got while i was in in college they have other ones too that are that are out uh, i think mca was the the company that put this one out years ago and i think uh well it says how learned on the bottom so it's from how learned publishing so i think this one was the original copy i'm not sure i think i got two copies i think i gave one away or something but anyway um it was done by a different company at one point and then i guess they they changed over um to different um a different publishing company so uh so with this book here uh they talk they talk about how to use the book in the very beginning so that's kind of cool we can see in some of the explanations this idea of strong weak weak for three four time and then if i can get that camera to focus a little bit i don't know if i can or not i'll bring it a little closer maybe that'll help anyway i can't get it to focus but all kinds of things inside you know so like the bottom the bottom of the the staff is like the way the stems point down that's that's your foot motion you can go right to left if you want you know, right left right left and all the stems up will be like the hand clapping or if you can tap it out with your hands on, on a surface or whatever you want to do or you can use um you can use tone like this could be you know uh if I go back to the beginning ta 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 ta, ta rest Ta, 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 ta. so if i wanted to do like a vocal thing over it i could you could just pick a nonsense syllable or tone or whatever the heck you want to do you can play them on your instrument just follow the rhythm play an open e string or you know you get the idea so there's different ways you can approach that book you can just you know do it physically hitting speaking something whatever you want to do or go right to your instrument of choice and play the examples in the book so those are some of the books the last one not being a guitar book but you can use of course the rhythm approach to strumming you can mute your strings and strum the rhythms that are in the book you know um can create your own strum patterns i mean there's lots of inventive things you can do outside the book rather than just sort of sticking within the confines of the book you can easily apply it to anything you're doing musically so I mean, you can pick up some new information and that's all that's a good thing so um so that's some of the books i have uh apart from song books and classical guitar books and some jazz books um i have like the uh the guitar white pages which gives you like multiple songs a few hundred songs per volume i have volumes of those um guitar for the practicing musician guitar one magazine guitar world magazine uh guitar player i have all these different sources mm -hmm. of information um but like i said i like to go to the hard copies of things like the physical copies of these different books or publications whether it's a magazine or a, a textbook or whatever it is so i always go that direction i know a lot of folks are big on the ebook scene so but you gotta really be careful because sometimes you'll get a pirated copy and um that's something you don't want to get you know because it it does a detriment to people who spend time writing these books it's like anything else that you get offline you have to really be careful with the sourcing so watch out for that and then again for books you can find them at old bookstores you can get them from like you know um any publishing company that still puts out you know music books you can get it you know so um so i want to offer that up today as a thing as a resource you know um to go into like a book and kind of play through from top to bottom and uh really grab some information out of there and of course you want to maybe keep it to like one or two books perhaps it really depends on what you want to pick up out of a book if you want to explore expand your core vocabulary and of course there's always the online scene right you, you go to do a google search and you see all the stuff there and yada 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 uh, so if you want to give your eyes a break from seeing you know computer screens or tablet screens or whatever phone screens you know go to the uh, the book source you know flip through some actual pages and stuff like that so that kind of stuff is still around even though we favor more of the digital thing for quite some time now going back to get some physical copies of books is really nice because you can you can choose you know um <clears throat> like if your internet goes out you can choose when you want to study something you know and of course technology is only so reliable so if you get a book um that kind of gives you that sort of like backup copy if things go awry with technology which they often do right so um so i offer that up today some of the books that i learned from and got some information out of and found very useful over the years um and it's good to go back through some of the old you know sort of archive you know learning material with guitar you know and looking back on I'm like wow I, I 
can't believe I was so stuck on that for such a long time, and now it, it doesn't even cause an issue, you know? So that's kind of fun, too, when you go back to, like, a book and go through it, and you might even find some, like, doodling, you know, whatever in your book, you know? So it's kind of cool. It's just nice to have that that tangible gripping of, of, a, of a physical thing, like actually grabbing a book and, you know, having it in your hands is uh, – is interesting you know and always always fun so don't be afraid of getting physical copies of books you know it's uh it's a great thing to have and um you know it's uh, <clears throat> a nice resource it's a nice source of many things that you'll find over time and uh so there you go that's my little offering today um stay tuned for more videos i did a channel update on youtube today so that's a, a short little video that i i put up on there and then I'll do some more things here too, of course. I want to come on as well because I'm always doing things on other, you know, platforms, you know. So I don't really get to jump on here and, and uh, give you guys any kind of update or anything like that. So that's kind of what I want to do today. I want to, you know, give you some heads up on some books and uh, hope you find it interesting. And um, hopefully if you're looking to get some of the books and, um, you know, you have an easy time finding them, you know, so... Um, check out your local music store or check out your local bookshop, bookstore, and uh, go through the music section and see what you grab. And again, it's just some of my stuff that, I, that I've gotten over the years. Um, and I didn't even include like Mel Bay, you know, all the books I learned from, from Mel Bay. You know, there's eight books in that series of, uh, and actually those are still offered. You can go to melbay.com or wherever the website is for Mel Bay books. And they got tons and tons of books in different styles of music, not just, uh, you know, learning how to play guitar, they have all kinds of styles covered. So you can go there to their website and you can go through their their store and see what you can order. I think even with theirs, like sometimes they have the book and the download or either one. Uh, it just depends on on, the, on which book it is. So uh, that's something you'll see, of course. I mean, I'm sure you're not new to searching out books online and uh, and purchasing them. So anyway, that's my, my two cents, my offering today. I uh, hope you found it interesting and uh, a little bit of a memory lane stroll for me so uh, but I want to share that with you so all right guys well have a great one and uh, we'll talk to you real soon so stay tuned for more stuff here and also on YouTube so feel free to go there in the meantime and uh, if you like what's there like and subscribe and uh, enjoy the content that's there and we'll talk to you soon see ya